Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be continuing on with colonising the entire solar system in the terraforming update of Universe Sandbox. So if you missed last episode we did Jupiter, Io and Europa so if you've not seen that episode definitely go ahead and check that out first but today we're going to be doing Ganymede and Callisto and as you can see they've already got their coloured trails as I am actually filming this from the future after I actually filmed the initial uh, video of doing this. But anyways, if you enjoy this video, let's see if we can go for a big 300 likes on today's video as well, guys. And also subscribe if you haven't already. But anyways, enough of me chatting. Let's get started. Right, Ganymede and Callisto, same process. I think Ganymede will be quite ocean heavy as well. Not as much as Europa, but we will still make it quite ocean heavy. So again, same process. We're going to, first of all, we're going to put it to 10 degrees first. Then add the carbon dioxide in. And we'll see if that makes any difference. So... Carbon dioxide down here. Uh, we'll go Earth atmosphere mass. I'm going to go 0.5. See how it does. And immediately an atmosphere is generated. That's fantastic stuff. Okay, great. So we're kind of just forcing it to uh, do it a little faster by already putting it in a good temperature. So we should see down here, this should already be... Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Right, and then what we're going to do down here... So we've already got two atmosphere layers as well. But again, the sweet spot for Jupiter moons is right about 15 to 20, wasn't it? So put it to 20. Oh, no. <laughs> Ooh, no, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh. That's a little too intense. <laughs> oh, my God. 20. We wanted 20, didn't we? Oh, man. What have we just done? Poor old Ganymede. We just bang. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so. Yeah, that wasn't very nice, was it? So, Ganymede, let's put you back up there. I don't, it shouldn't be this high, though. What, what did we just do to Ganymede? I'm going to just spawn a new one in because I don't trust the way that just worked. It looks like it's a lot... The requirement for Hatical Zone was a lot higher than what it should have been. Let's just reset it quickly. I want to do that again. Right, there you go. So, fresh Ganymede spawned in. Looking good. All right, let's go again. So, first of all, it's not frozen this time. That's weird. Um, 10 degrees. Yes. Composition. So I want to add one layer. It's carbon dioxide. We want it in uh, atmosphere mass. So, oh, it was 0 0.5, wasn't it? 0 0.5. There you go. Play. It's already at 10 degrees. You can already see it. Something's kicking off there. All right. So yeah, there was an atmosphere generated there. All right, cool. How are we looking down here? So we can see life flight could. We already see an increase there. Already? Oh, yeah, because Ganymede does have water, doesn't it? Well, should I? I think it has water on the generated object. Yeah, it does. There you go. Hey, there you go, Ganymede. Looking good. All right. If we can build it that fast, that'd be great. But that's obviously going to need some more temperature to really get going. So, surface. Now we're looking down here. Build an atmosphere for us. Look at that. It's, it's, see, it's, it's good when it does that. But when it goes out of control, it's a bit annoying. But I would just like... In theory, I'd like to know more information about how this actually works. But it's obviously due to how much gas carbon dioxide is in your atmosphere. Because as we saw, the solid and liquid doesn't make a difference. It has to be in a gas form. So that's why I put the objects to 0 or 10 degrees. Because that will immediately turn to a gas and go in and build your atmosphere. If you add carbon dioxide in an object that's too cold, it won't really. It didn't seem like it did anything. So we're kind of skipping that initial step of having to warm it up just by manually putting it to 10 which is just for our convenience sake really so there you go so how's Ganymede looking now I'm, I'm assuming you're going to need more layers to really get going as you can see you're too far out so we're going to immediately give it more layers so we're going to add them up well, maybe it did need more than okay fine oh this one does have this is a larger object so maybe it does need those more layers so play so see how that... Remember, this isn't as high pressure as the other one. See, look, it still needs way more ATM before we really get going. So let's uh, see how we do. See how high it generates. Because it should peak at some point. Remember, every object is different. So what works on one object will not work on another object if it's way different in mass, for instance. So we'll see how we do. So that's still increasing. How are we looking on temperature? So, okay, so a solid 12, 13. All right, okay, Ganymede, I see you. So... Good. So again, Ganymede contains a lot of water, so I'm going to keep it as quite an ocean-heavy world, but it's not going to be on the level of Europa, so we're going to melt all that water on it. Where our atmosphere just go? Oh, well, that's just the zone changing. Uh, sea level. We want a higher sea level for sure. There you go, Ganymede. 
But again, I want it to have a, a solid, you know, a decent amount of ocean, but still some patches of land, but not on the level of Europe. So it's still got some nice big constants in the higher elevation regions. Looking great. Okay. Colour-wise. We'll go over more. We'll go over a nice pale sort of light blue, I think. So something like that. Ray light scattering. Maybe we make it. Do we make it a two-tone? No, nah, I'm not feeling it. Not for Ganymede. We'll put it on the 10, I guess. A little bit, I guess. Thicker atmosphere. It's a larger moon. Maybe we'll give it a slightly thicker atmosphere. There's a cool view of Jupiter in the background there. There you go. But, I think that's looking good. Uh, liquid colour. There you go. There's your liquid there. Right. Again, too blue for my liking, so we'll give it a more... Slightly uh, more pale shade of blue there. I do find the ocean colours very peculiar, though, in the way they work. Maybe just a more generic blue. Doesn't need to be anything uh, out of this world, so... I mean, the best colours are sort of in the top left of the colour. But, yeah, we'll stick with that. Okay, cool. City lights on. Yes, please. Uh, always. Cool. Uh, vegetation, again. Not really using that button. Um, kind of checking to see if it was working, though. Um, okay, so elevation, custom. Again, we want a nice sort of green appearance for you. Maybe not the like, ultimate shade of green, though. So maybe you have some whiter, grayer patches mixed in there as well. Maybe some more dirt patches to kind of represent the original sort of color it was. So I'll make it more of a brown shade in that case. It's going to be did have those sort of like more brownish coloured regions on its surface so we'll stick with that uh, low elevation again that's not really changing too much colour anyway. we'll leave that just a, a lower sort of shade then and then uh, middle elevation we're not going to make it the greenest of greens but we'll um, still have some on there there you are I think that doesn't look half bad actually it looks really good and then obviously where's our clouds we need to generate those on don't we so there you go yeah Anime looking good. Right, um, clouds, streaks, and thick. Yeah, there you go. Nice little combination there. Looking good. Slightly thicker atmosphere on Ganymede, but for its larger object. Oh, look at the uh, life likelihood, are there? 0 0.7. Mm, okay. Not bad at all. That's probably one of the best ones we've made, actually. Ganymede is a larger object, so because it's a larger object, that immediately helps. So, overall, a very, very nice build for Ganymede. So we'll see how that temperature pans out as well. Because we may need to come back just to have a little interject a bit and just put a few little subtle changes in there. But overall, that will mark that off as done for now. So, Ganymede, very impressive stuff. Very happy with that. Uh, Io, um, I want to give you your trail as well. So you're having a very, very green trail. There you go. The Swamp Io. Jupiter itself, again, I think a few changes we need to make to you at the end. But other than that, it's still looking fairly good. So, nicely done. City lights, they have city lights on. I think they're disabled, aren't they? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, always. There you go, Jupiter. Cool. Got this more snow patches on it, but we do need to... Uh, Jupiter still need a little bit of manual interference, I think. Cool. And then lastly, the final moon for today, Callisto. And again, as we know, always save before you start a next object. Looking good. But we're making good progress here. I'm enjoying this. This is going well. Now we're sort of fabbing it out. So I've sort of learned as I've gone along today as well. So good stuff. Right. First of all, straight to 10 degrees. That seems oh, 13 in that case. Right. That's fine. Right. Immediately. Carbon dioxide. Oh, that's a bit of carbon dioxide. Okay. I see you, Callisto. What are you building us for? Okay. Okay, interesting. It already has. Okay, I'm going to just leave what it's got and see how it does. Because Callisto doesn't normally look like this, if you notice. This Callisto's got some sort of... It's already got materials added to it. Temperature's already increasing. Just because I pull it to 10, all that carbon dioxide has immediately gone into... Generated an atmosphere, I'm guessing. Let's turn off that simulated colour so we can actually see what's going on. So we'll leave it as red for now. How are we looking down here? Oh, look at that. Already going up. Fantastic. All we did was add temperature. That's all we've done so far. That's good stuff. Got 
bit of that in there. Okay. Looking good. So I haven't, if you notice, I haven't bothered with adding oxygen because it doesn't seem to really do much other than just show it in your composition tab. It doesn't affect the life likelihood tab as far as I understand. So I've not really added it. But, you know, we've still got the water. We've got the atmosphere. You know, that's roughly where you want to be. The atmosphere is thickening as well. Check that out. I didn't do that. Okay. Good stuff. All right, how are we looking down here? Five layers already. What's that, an ATM? Okay, build, building up Callisto. Okay. Again, we'll give it an increase ourselves here. Well, Callisto needs way more than the other ones. Wow. Okay, remember, every object is different. So we're going to put it at 94 for now. See how Callisto fathoms itself out. But remember, this guy had a higher amount of carbon dioxide compared to the other ones. There's already having carbon dioxide on it. And if we go down here, it had two. I only added one to the other ones, I think. So we'll see how that see how that does its uh, does itself. So underneath, okay, how are we looking here? Ooh, I, I don't think this contains any water, does it? Oh, it does. It does. Okay, so it is a little bit going on there. Oh wow, oh, it's got plenty of water. Okay, fine. Right, all we need to do is increase the ocean level then. And there you go. Callisto has quite a funky ocean appearance, doesn't it? Melt. Oh, yeah, okay. Must be giving it a little... Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Callisto, what's going on there, my man? Okay, there you go. So, water's kind of scra scraped all over the surface of Callisto. So, that gives you quite an interesting looking world, actually. Okay. So, this will flood up quite quick. Ooh. Very interesting design with Callisto. So its surface isn't very high or low. It's mostly a mix of... It's like an archipelago. Lots of islands in a big sort of plane of water there. So very interesting. But you can see if we zoom in a little closer. Not all of that. All that land is... There's a lot of gaps between that land. But that's still an interesting uh, world for sure. If we increase more. Yeah, definitely an archipelago, isn't it? A lot of ocean on there. What if we throw another texture in there just to really mess it up but i want to before we do that I'll save what if we mix it with a planet 15 just to give it more because callisto is a well known for a lot of craters isn't it so you know you'd think it you'd have some craters in there let's go to planet 15 there you go so that makes more sense for callisto doesn't it you know you need those craters showing through that looks better yeah we'll stick with that callisto there you go my man that's looking good cool i'm liking that that's, callisto is looking great atmosphere on right Go the deeper blue for Callisto, maybe. Let's stick with that. Turn the ray light up. Ray light. Cool. All right. And give us some clouds. There you go. Callisto. The craters just make that pop. That makes that world pop so much better. It looks so much cooler with the craters. Make that atmosphere a little thinner, I think. Um, turning that off. Not for this world, either. I do like the two-tone, but, you know, when we get to Titan, hopefully next episode, we're definitely doing that with Titan, because that will look cool, so cool with Titan's atmosphere, so we'll definitely have a play with that. So, for now, maybe we'll give it we'll give it a little, just a little effect of that, maybe, Callisto, just to make it a little more interesting. Uh, make the blue a little deeper. It's still got that two-tone sort of buried in there. Let's just have a... Just so it's a little visible. There you go. All right. Looking good. Fluffy and fluffy will go with turbulent and sparse. Or do we? Wispy. Wispy and turbulent? Or turbulent, double turbulent? They don't cover up much though. Turbulent and thick. Together. Yeah, alright. Yeah, we'll stick with that. Um, Colour wise. City lights as well. Yes, please. Go have white city lights on this guy. Vegetation isn't generated by itself yet. Okay, elevation custom. Cool. Callisto looking good. All right. So this is an archipelago world. So I'm thinking more of a sandy beach kind of appearance. It's a lot of high elevation on Callisto as well. So I'm going to go with a darker green with a lot of a, sa of a sandy yellow sort of mixed in there. As we're going to go for an ocean. Quite that that kind of doesn't do much. We'll leave that as a dark green then. So, make it an archipelago. So it's going to be a very bright, vibrant sea world. 
with lots of islands or something in a nice bright blue oh gosh whoa whoa get the color right first and just drag it to the left very very nice vibrant blue i think that's the good nice a deeper blue on the atmosphere i think we need a little more ocean level i think just a tad more i want to get a little more ocean make it more make the islands more separate so sea level it's already quite high isn't it Ooh, uh, is it going to go any higher than that? Oh, what's happened there? What? Do we need more oceans? Water level. It's already got a lot. Is it too hot or too cold? Interesting. So we've just done something there. I'm not too keen on the way that's looking. We may have to undo that. I'm not sure I like how that's turned out. The sea level needs to be higher. I want it higher than that. That shouldn't be maybe melt. I'm thinking not enough of that water's in the um it's liquefied. I think too much of the water's gone into gas or something. Let's have a look. I don't really want to add more water because I don't think that's a good idea. Where are you water? Oh wow, okay. It's got it in all forms. Okay. Solid liquid. Most of it is in liquid form. So again, that doesn't make sense to me why that is not showing on the actual surface. That's that's strangely, I don't know the answer to that. That's really, really weird. Oh, that's so strange. Can it go any higher than that? Seven? See, why doesn't it go any higher? That doesn't make sense. Hmm. Okay. That's really, really bizarre. I want to add more water. I really want to add more. I'm going to save first. And then I'm going to add more water. I'm going to see what happens. Times two. Oh, oh. Oh, there, yeah. There you go. Of course. Yeah. So, it's something to do with the lack of water compared to the rest. I don't know. Okay, we'll go a little more. We won't add that much, but we'll add a little bit more, hopefully, to flood it up a bit. So, we'll see how we do. Hang on, we moving. Oh, there you go. Right. Play. Oh, really? That made all the difference? Just a little bit like that? Made all the difference? Wow, okay. Settle water. Settle liquid. All right, yes. And just lower this down to where we want it. Oh. Hang on a minute. Oh, no, the game's cheating on us now. Hang on. That ain't right. No, we added more water, game. Really? Come on. That's cheating. <laughs> That's really cheating, that is. Surely. Right. Water. Okay, again. We're, we're in a different save here, so it doesn't matter what we do. What? Settle? No way. Come on, game. You're cheating us. You're absolutely cheating us. Settle. I bet if I do it again. Yeah? Uh, okay. And then as soon as we lower... The, the the level it does that again oh that's so annoying what's going on up here what is that all about settle what's that what's that what's that doing callisto what are you doing man Look at that ring at the top of water what is that oh, that's so weird that is so strange maybe it's a surface texture we're using possibly I, I, callisto is weird what is going on here so if I was to take off texture 2, does that fix it? Maybe it's because we're using Planet 15. Maybe it doesn't like the uh, combined surface textures. What do you know? It looks like that may have been why. Okay. So unfortunately, we won't be able to have the cool crater look, which is a bit annoying. So let's go back. I'm going to remove that first and then just try and fix it. So those two sort of waves we had going on there, that's very bizarre. So, right, so here we are again. Back to where we were. So, what I'm going to do is, unfortunately, I'm going to turn that off. Settle with water. I'd much rather have it functioning than have it look a little pretty, so... And just increase this. What do you know? That fixes it. That's strange. So, it doesn't like... Com so, watch out if you're doing this at home. Combining certain textures may upset your ocean levels. Now, is that a bug? I do not know, but it seems to be that could cause it. So, again, we can still have the archipelago look, but not as cool looking as I initially hoped. Which is a bit of a shame, but there you go. 
Then, uh, what if I did put vegetation? How would it look? Have it a greener look or more of the traditional desert, look, the sandy look? Because that covers basically the whole, the whole object is basically this elevation level. So, if it was a lime green then. Try and find it in the middle. Well, see, that doesn't look too bad actually. I'm just trying to colour in between the two. It could represent sort of sandy, but still got a bit of green going on. I don't think that looks half bad, actually. May stick with that. Clouds atmosphere on. And our archipelago world. I'm putting that back to zero. Yeah, alright, okay. And there is Callisto done. Again, very strange with the textures, but for the most part, that's that's worked quite nicely, actually. It's just Callisto's texture is a bit weird when you have water to it, I'm guessing. You combine it with another texture and it doesn't really know how to... Because I don't think the sea level on Callisto's texture is the best sea level. It doesn't seem like this texture has the best sort of surface map, maybe. I, I really don't know. Um, but anyways, just have a little look with it, with and without the water. So you can see, maybe, you know, maybe we have less water in that case. Have something more like this. Maybe we don't make it an archipelago. See, again, I really like the increased water. I think all the little islands look really good, actually. But maybe more like that. See, the different colours may come through now. So let's have a look. Let's try that. So, so high elevation is this. So leave that as green. What's this colour here? Oh, middle. Okay, so we can have two then. Okay. Dark green is the higher elevation, and then make the sand yellow the deeper colour. Oh, wow, okay. They're very similar, aren't they? Even though they're completely different colours, they do look very similar when you combine them on the map here. The colour blending of both of them together. Then low elevation, does that have any... So that, that has no change. We'll just put that as black, just dim that out. So we just find a nice combo between those two then, so... Maybe have this as the sandy colour. And then have this as the more... Have this as the green. I want to say that maybe a little look better looking. There you go. How do you, how do you think of that? And that was the clouds on. I think I'm going to stick with that. Again, it's not the how I intended it to look like, not how I wanted it to look, but I think we may have to roll with it. I mean, either way, it's still colonised and in good shape at the moment, so I think we'll stick with that. There's Callisto. I think we're going to go with that. So there you go. So that's the whole Jupiter and Galileo system done now. Jupiter still needs some changes done to its temperature, but other than that, everyone else seems to be okay. So pretty good, and I'm very pleased how that's panned out compared to last week, because actually I didn't mention the game has had an update. We're now in update 34.0.0 or 0.4, so there was an update during the week after I made the initial or the last video. So hopefully that's made some help for today as well, because if you notice, we've not had a single object smoke up. And I haven't put that setting on as far as I remember, so unless it continued over from last time when I used the simulation, but we'll see. How's Ganymede doing? Oceans, Ganymede. Oceans. Where are they? Water's on there. Sea level. Let's have a look. Okay. Ganymede, what are you doing with zero sea level? Come on. That's cheating. There you go. That's really weird. So why has Ganymede done that then? There you go. That's better. Bit weird. Okay. Well, there you go. There's Ganymede. Europa, the all ocean world. It's not ocean, something's wrong. <laughs> Go on, there you go. Yeah, oh, it's got polar caps. Hey, check it out. G good, little more visuals on it. I'm not complaining. Looking great. Good old Europa. Very nice. Three degrees, so not the hottest, but it's an all-ocean world. That's the goal we wanted with it. Our swamp Io, how's that doing? Oh, it really does look pretty murky here, doesn't it? I like the green lights as well. They look pretty cool. So underneath, that's what the surface looks like. So a very toxic green. I'm thinking maybe a little more on the blue. Before we finish up, a little more blue on the ocean. I'm thinking it's a little too green. So let's go with a little more of a bluer shade. That's a little too much. Let's make it a little more... Maybe there? 
So it still has the green atmosphere to represent the more swamp appearance. Um, I'm thinking maybe a little more pale on the atmosphere shade. That turned that off as well. I don't want that on. Uh, there you go. Opacity. Maybe the swampy world has a slightly more murky atmosphere. Maybe a little thicker. Um, clouds. Yep, they are on. Fluffy and fluffy. Maybe one of them is a thicker shade of clouds. For the swamp IO. So IO is completely transformed, isn't it? It, has a, it barely looks like its original version. But it still has the texture underneath. But it's completely changed. Pretty cool. But there's IO. So I'm going to leave that the way it is. And then Jupiter itself. I think the last change is... I think I'll probably do it behind camera. Just getting it fathomed out. But... Well, they're 30 knots, so it's a little, little on the warmer side still, but it does have some colder regions as well. So Jupiter, yeah, interesting. And interesting but remember, it is a very big planet, so it's going to have very, lots of temperature varies. But even now, it's still in a decent decent phase. It's got stats. It has at least 1% on the likelihood, so, you know, not too shabby. It's got something there and on there. So um, there we go. Actually, we'll go through all of the um, life like good. So Jupiter's 177 right now. How are we looking on Io? None. None? What? What's going on with Io? Come on. None? It's got water. Interesting. I'll have to look behind the scenes on that, but as far as I'm concerned, that is fairly well colonised. Europa. So if we look here, it's not to do with the oxygen, because Jupiter doesn't have any oxygen on it, and that still has stats, so... I don't know if oxygen makes a difference... But I'll have to investigate that throughout the week. We can come back to that next episode if need be. If anyone has any tips and tricks in the comments, please let me know as well. I'm very keen to hear what you have to say. If anyone has any tips and tricks to get the likelihood a little higher. I think it's mainly because these worlds aren't Earth stats. You can see they're very low on mass. Now that probably will have an effect there with life like who because the best life likelihood planets are always ones around the same size as Earth in mass and radius. So that can always make a difference. It probably is due to our atmosphere pressures being different as well. High or too high or too low pressures probably would affect that stat more, so that's probably my guess as well. But if anyone let, if anyone has any extra intel on that, please let me know. I'd be keen to hear see you here. My guess is is because the surface pressure is too low. I reckon if I put this to one ATM right now, keep it paused. I reckon that stat would go up possibly. Or oh, it doesn't. Okay, interesting. Oh, very interesting because I know low pressures definitely don't won't work, but in this case. Like the higher normal 1 ATM pressure hasn't worked either. So, interesting stuff. Wow, ocean level's gone. What's going on with Io here? Hang on, not more ocean level. Bit annoying. Get, get our ocean. There you go, Io. That's better. Cool. But yeah, a bit, bit bizarre with Io there. But yeah, well, if anyone lets me know, anyone has any ideas for why Io was so low, let me know, please. I'd be interested to hear, like, you yeah, have to say. Cool. All right, and then Ganymede here as well come on Ganymede it's a very heavy ocean level on, underneath that guys and there's a load of it Free see, that's, see Ganymede and Callisto are all fine and Europa I think Europa oh, Callisto has some doesn't it oh taking a while for it to load in there Yes, everyone other than Io. I mean, I, I guess Io is very close to the big nasty Jupiter with that massive pull on it. It was formerly a volcano. Well, there's no more sulfur dark side on it. So if anyone has a tip for Io, I truly don't know on this one. Let me know. But there you go. And then we'll see Jupiter itself. So that's, um, I'm very pleased with the way that's panned out, actually. So at least we know now we can actually get working objects. So that's great great news compared to last time we did it that update has really helped so massive thanks to the universe sandbox team for you know all the work they've put in fixing these because there was definitely we haven't really encountered any bugs at all today compared to last week so yeah let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comments guys i hope you've enjoyed this video as well and yeah tips tricks let me know down below in the comments I'm very keen to hear your thoughts and yeah, let's see if we can go for 200 likes on today's video as well, guys. Subscribe for more. Helps on the journey to 40,000 subscribers. And with that all said and done, make sure you have a great day out there. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.